In today's video, I'm going to be taking over the career of Davi for 10 seasons as we try and make him the best midfielder in the world. And as you guys can see, Gavi now has a face in FIFA 22. I've used the mod to get it, keeping it realistic. It's Takeover Tuesday and I thought, why not do it based on a player for once? So, yup, we're going to be taking over Gavi's career instead of a club. 10 seasons and we'll try and make him the best player possible, winning trophies hopefully across the board as well at different clubs do want to win a lot at Barcelona as well because Gavi is homegrown for Barcelona a La Masia prospect so let's see how this goes fantastic as I said we are going to be keeping track of Gavi's stats throughout these 10 seasons and let's see if he can win maybe some Ballon d'Ors and all a bit of a different takeover video today based around a player but I just saw Gavi score one of the most wonderful goals I've seen lately from Barcelona just a splendid solo effort and I thought you know what I just want to have fun with him in career mode and that's exactly what we're doing so if you guys want to see more player based takeovers drop a like in the video subscribe if new around here as well and let's go all right, here we go. Season one, Pablo Gavi at Barcelona. By the way, I love the fact that we've given him a player face because, my God, the model he had before, it was just, yeah, it was just ridiculous. Anyways, number 30 at Barcelona for the first season, starting at a 70 overall. Look at his stats. His dribbling all there. We've got to put like a development plan on him and I've decided to go box to box, getting that shooting up a bit. Being at Barca for the first couple of seasons could be detrimental because I don't know how much game time he's gonna get as a center mid. I'm really not too sure. Oh, I'm, I'm not too sure because look at this. De Jong is there. We have potentially Pedri competing for that spot. Ricky Puj, Nico Gonzalez as well. How on earth is Gavi supposed to get game time? So I'm not entirely sure staying at Barcelona makes sense at the start to, you know, maximize Gavi's potential. But we're gonna do that for the first season and just see what's up. And that's going to give us a good indication, I guess, of whether Gavi needs to stay at Barca. Don't worry, I want him to win trophies at Barca for sure, but to get him to a high overall, maybe it's best going to smaller clubs to start things off. But we'll see. First season at Barca, that's the squad Barcelona have. It's nothing too impressive. Let's him the first season and see what's up. Oh, by the way, um, because Barca are terrible in real life, I've like directly put them in the Europa League to like save them from embarrassment. But yeah, it's pretty disappointing for us. Also, I'm thinking, guys, to spice up these player-based stakes, Overs, we should be allowed to make one transfer and one player sale of our choice to maybe help Gavi get a bit of more game time, but we can only do it once. So let's say we're at Barca for three seasons, we can only make one transfer and one player sale for the three seasons. I think that's smart. Okay, so how do we help this Barcelona team? I reckon getting maybe a defender seems smart, like a right back, because that's where the overall seems pretty low, and maybe getting rid of a midfielder. I think that's what'll work for us. You know what, in terms of of a midfielder who's gonna take game time away from of course Gavi it seems like it will be Ricky Pooj I'm sorry Ricky but you gotta go get that son of a off the field right now out he's fired just gonna release him boys just gonna release him sorry Ricky Pooj this is to get Gavi to his maximum potential we're sacrificing you I think for that right back spot Maserawi would be a really good pick let's see if we can get him contract expiring too don't know much about him but I reckon we can get this sorted since Barca have a lot of cash and we're only looking to make one transfer um I reckon he's worth about 40 million and we can get him for that. There you go. Simple. Nusair Mazraoui has been signed. Not bad at all. We've got a new teammate for Gavi. And I guess now we're just going to be simulating until maybe the end of the season. And just seeing how much game time Gavi gets. How many games does he play? That's probably going to decide whether Gavi stays at Barcelona for long. I want to make him a Barca legend. Maybe the next Andres Iniesta. But maybe that happens at a later point in his career. We don't know. We'll have to see. All right, guys. We're at the end of the season. Season and it's an okay season, I guess, for Gavi, but I reckon we need to get out of Barcelona. Where do we send him, though? We need to get out of Barcelona because uh, a plus three is seemingly low, I feel, for a player of Gavi's quality. He, yeah, we, we need to get out of Barcelona, I feel. So first season at Barca, Gavi's managed to, I don't know, play how many games. We'll have to see, but the stats have gone up fairly well. Let's actually see how much his shooting stats and everything have improved. All right, so here we are at Gavi. 
Ah, look at that. He is unhappy with everything. He's played only four games and managed to get an assist. No wonder he's unhappy. His potential is going to go down massively if this continues. We need to send him elsewhere. We need to send him elsewhere, okay? This, this is not done. This is not done. Well, in other news, um, Gavi ends up winning La Liga, I guess. First season with Barcelona, barely played, but still gets a hand on the trophy. He'll take that, I guess. Barca end up winning La Liga. Surprising, very surprising. They lose the Super Cup, though, because Atletico end up winning that. Spanish Cup goes to Atletico Madrid, too. What about the mighty Europa League? They actually beat Napoli in the final for that, so fair play to them. Let's go. But guys, I really feel it's time to say goodbye to Gavi at Barcelona. It's time for him to start a new journey at a different club for a few seasons because his potential is going to get slaughtered being here at Barca. So we are putting him on the transfer list. Season 2 is going to be at a different club. Not the ideal first season I was hoping for. Just one assist. Ah, yikes. Season 2 begins and this seems like a very interesting opportunity. Pablo Gavi could be on the way to Belgium. Club Bruges have come in with an offer for him and that seems like a perfect club to go. I think he'll get a lot of game time there. Chance to rack up some trophies as well. Champions League experience too because I think Club Bruges might be in the Champions League. I think this is a good place to be for a couple of seasons to get that overall up. It's a 10 season save. We got to take advantage of opportunities like this. So let's go to Belgium with Pablo Gavi. And there you go, guys. Gavi is now a Club Bruges player. He's going to be wearing number seven there. Fair play, 17-year-old. Couple of seasons in Belgium could really help skyrocket his overall. Let's just straight up put him in the starting 11, boys. We got to do that. There you go. Gavi, Vormerich. This team is actually not too bad. Like, honestly, we can put this guy in here, 77 rated. Yo, not too bad. Hey, look who's in goal. It's Simon Mugnale. Yikes. Well, um, interesting teammates for Gavi? For season two, do we keep Gavi on the same development plan? Not entirely sure. He's on balance right now. I think ball winning midfielder getting a bit that defensive stats up could be the play. Ah, but shooting is so weak on Gavi. But I think ball winning midfielder is the best one for now. So we'll rock with that. Once again, we can of course make one signing and get rid of one player. So let's do that. Oh, you know what? Club Bruges have got a good budget. So that should be smart. I think if I'm getting rid of a player, it's got to be another midfielder. That could be competition for Gavi. Probably this Swift guy, John Swift. I'm sorry, you gotta go, my friend. You gotta go. I'm thinking, why not sign a centre-back at Club Bruges here? Because, yeah, that'd be smart. Don't mind Bonucci, guys. I think that's a smart signing. Yo, Bonucci, maybe kind of like a retirement home for him here in Belgium. I think he could do a job at the back, help us out defensively. I think that's a smart transfer. We've got the money. One signing, improving the back line. I think that's smart. Well, Bonucci does not like the contract we've offered. We're gonna have to look elsewhere. Guys, we've actually made a pretty good signing in Sebastian. Bastian Bornau. Seems like a good centre-back to have. Why not? 78 rated Belgium as well. Seems a smart signing to make. And yeah, there you go. He's part of the team. I didn't know we had Toby Alder we at the club too. Yo, the back line is pretty good. This is not too bad. Gavi already up to a 74. Yo, this team is actually decent. We can't make any more transfers or anything, but I think Gavi is gonna skyrocket in his overall here. Out of course, Club Bruges, and that's perfect. Out of curiosity, how much money, how many P's is Gavi making here? And of course, Club Bruges, 8.6k per week. Not too bad. He's got a four-year deal, 6 million in terms of his valuation. Anyways, let's him until the end of the season and see what's up with Club Bruges. We're at the end of the season and just what we wanted, guys. Gavi has improved massively over the course of this season. I think we need to stay maybe another season here at Club Bruges because we've really found our home. Because look at that, Gavi up to a 78 this season. Stats are looking incredible on him as well. 86 ball control, 88 shot passing. You love to see it. Okay, so I think the Belgian Pro League works a bit different. Um, yeah, because we're, we're second in the league, but then there was a playoffs round, and I think we won the league. Yeah, I think we did. Club Bruges did end up winning the league, so we'll take it, I guess. Um, 51 points in the championship round. I'm confused, but I reckon we have won the league. We'll take it. Club Bruges won the Champions League, and look at that. We managed
managed to out-qualify Borussia Dortmund. That is an achievement in itself, but we got knocked out by Chelsea. Expected. Oh, Gavi balled out this season. He played 50 games. Stats-wise, that uh, could have been a bit better. Three goals and six assists, but not too bad, I guess. Played 50 games. That's, I guess, what matters. Oh, look at that valuation jump up to 16.5 milli. All right. So those are Gavi's stats. Now, of course, Club Brew 78 rated. Three goals and seven assists so far over the course of these two seasons. Time for season three. I guess for season three, we're going to move around the development plan a little bit and maybe move towards something else because I reckon uh, we, we got to maybe get that weak foot and skill move rating up too. So sprint speed as well. I, re I reckon box to box. Now, Playmaker seems the goated one. Yo, Playmaker seems like the smart one to boost a lot of the key stats and the weak foot as well. This season, let's do Playmaker. Maybe I'll do Playmaker for half a season and then something else for the rest of the season. I'll let you know what the plan is. But of course, we can't make any more transfers. One club, one signing, one departure. That's all we can do. But that's the team we're in right now. I think I I'm glad I signed this for now, guy, because Alderweireld is declining. But again, we're one of the starters in that midfield. Gavi's going to play a big role. Let's him until the end of the season and see what's up. This is one thing I like about being at Club Bruges. We're getting that Champions League experience for Gavi early on. And that's vital. Even though we're getting knocked out in the early rounds, I still think it's a it's important. I mean, yeah, we're losing. 5-1, so maybe not. But yeah, whatever. In other news, Gavi was unhappy with his contract, guys, so I had to give him a new contract halfway through the season. Up to 24,000 here at Club Bruges. Look at that value shoot up on him. It's gone up a couple of ratings, but we're not at the end of the season yet. Also, switching a development plan on him to box to box, so let's see how that goes. End of the season, and Gavi only an 80. I think that first season at Barcelona really slowed his growth and potential down. We'll have to really work towards getting that up, but still, 80 overall. I think it's time to move on from Club Bruges after this season, but let's see what we've won so far. Looks like we've won the, the league once again, so I reckon first three seasons of Gavi's career, he's won the league every single time. That's a very good record. We did get ourselves knocked out in the group stages, but that puts us in the mighty Europa League. Oh, we knocked out Stuttgart in the preliminary round, round of 32. Round of 16, we got the better of Espanyol only just, and in the quarters, we lost to Manchester United. Stats wise for Gavi, another slow season, I guess. Just three goals and five assists. Racking up appearances though, but reckon it's time for him to move on to a different club because Club Bruges, it's worked for his overall. He's gone from a 73 to an 80 in a couple of seasons. Now he's good enough to start at most clubs. Three seasons, stats aren't looking good, but at least Gavi's overall is up to an 80 now. Time for a new club for season four. I really don't think a better club could have come in with an offer for Pablo. Pablo Gavi, RB Leipzig, 23.8 million for him. This seems like a no-brainer. Leipzig would be literally the perfect club for Gavi to grow into a better player before ultimately returning to Barcelona. I think we got to do this. There you go, guys. I'm accepting it. Pablo Gavi at RB Leipzig for a couple of seasons. Sounds about right. There you have it, guys. Gavi now plays for RB Leipzig. Top class transfer, I guess. He's going to be earning about 39,000 here. 23 million is his valuation. So, fourth season, we're now playing for a fairly big German club. Can we win the league with them? Can we win some big trophies? I don't know. But the goal is to get Gavi to an overall where he can maybe get back to Barcelona in two or three seasons. That's what I'm thinking has got to be the plan. Let's see. But yeah, RB Leipzig. The good news is, uh, I'm not sure what's the good news because this is such a confusing formation that, of course, RB Leipzig used. But Gavi fits right into that midfield, which is great. I think the signing we're going to make is to help them out with a defender because I think that's what they need and maybe we'll get rid of a, a bit of competition in like a midfielder where we're you know we can get as much game time as possible with of course Gavi I think that's got to be the smart play actually now that I think about it I just put this Madueke guy on the right Mukiele at the back they don't even need a new signing we'll keep that for next season I guess but I do want to get rid of let's say a midfielder that could be competition for our boy 
boy Gabby. So let's see if we can do that. Who could we possibly get rid of? Kevin Campbell? I think that's smart. Getting rid of Kevin Campbell, I think is pretty smart. Although it shouldn't really be competition. We'll just get rid of him. So that should make Gabby play a lot more. In terms of a development plan, what do we rock on Gabby? I think it's got to be box to box. Got to get that shooting up. All right, let's sim until the end of the season and see how RB Leipzig do. All right, guys. Finally, at the end of the season at RB Leipzig, only up by one overall. Why is that? I don't get it. Gavi's growth has slowed down so much, boys. Oh, his potential is like 86 in game, I think. So 20 years old, 81. Uh, okay, just the five goals this season as well. Should have been a lot better. Maybe we put like the wrong development plan on him. I don't know, but it seems like soon he should be growing by another overall, but we'll keep the box to box on him. It wasn't balanced. It's ba I don't know why it was balanced for a while. Maybe that's why. I remember putting it on box to box. Anyways, that's a real bummer. Need to get Gavi's overall up. Still the five goals this season and he played a fair bit. Well, Leipzig will be in the Champions League next season, so at least that's good. But fourth in the Bundesliga. First season of Gavi's career of not winning the league. Leverkusen win the cup. RB Leipzig did finish second in the Champions League, so that's great in their group. And they got smacked by Barcelona. So Gavi did end up playing against his former team. Didn't go too well. Can say stats wise it hasn't really been good for Gavi. Just 11 goals and 12 assists in four seasons. <sighs> well, let's hope he can really grow fast in his overall in the coming few seasons because I think it's soon time to get him back to Barca. Reckon we're going to do one more season at Leipzig though. Time for season five and I just don't get why on earth do Leipzig have this weird ass formation. It makes no sense. But anyways, Gavi in the midfield for this season. I don't think I'm making any signing. I like the look of this team. On the pitch, hopefully they can do a bit better but that's not what matters. All that matters is Gavi performs well. Let's see what development plan we can rock on him. Oh, in one week, he, he should be growing fast now. That's great to see. Hopefully by the end of the season, we see some real growth on Gavi's overall. We need to see it, man. We absolutely need to. All right, we're going to be now simming until the end of the season. And let's see what's up with Pablo Gavi. All right, now, when did this happen? Gavi up to an 85 this season. Oh, let's go. We've been waiting for a bit of player growth on Gavi. And oh my God, this Leipzig side don't have a goalkeeper. How did we not realize this? Oh my God. We must have been absolutely tragic. But ultimately, all about Gavi. We got him to do well. Okay, we got him to do well. Finally. What are his stats looking like? What are Gavi's stats looking like? Seven goals, three assists. That's better than any season he's had. And four goals in the Champions League. Yo, that's not too bad either. We'll take it from Pablo Gavi. Come on. Fifth season. Finally, we're going somewhere. 85 overall now. Stats looking very, very decent. I changed it to the playmaker development plan. And look at that passing stats. Oh boy. Third in the Bundesliga is all we could get. Not too bad without a goalkeeper for, I reckon, half a season. Champions League. Um, Leipzig finished second in the group. Got knocked out by Spurs. Not gonna lie. Looking at these stats, it feels like Gavi has been a big flop in five seasons. I think it's time we put him back at Barcelona and just see what he can achieve. He is now capable of starting every game there for Barca. So I think we got to do that from season six onwards. All right, guys, for season six, I think it's time to bring Gavi back to Barcelona. I think in this challenge, we have to get Gavi to succeed at Barca. He is now 85 rated, I think. So I think we can make that signing for Barcelona. I've just used the mods to become Barcelona's boss. And we're now going to sign Pablo Gavi. Oh boy, is it going to be be expensive and RB Leipzig couldn't really win anything. 85 rated. What on earth has happened to his player face, guys? Oh my god, I think I started the game without the mods. What have they done to Gavi? Let me quickly fix this. All right, guys, I think I've fixed it. Gavi now looks like himself. What on earth was that? Anyways, let's try and sign him to Barcelona. I think I want to keep him at Barca for three or four seasons at least and try and win the Champions League and all because I think he can do that here. We'll offer 80 million for Gavi just to see if Leipzig will accept. We'll pay them whatever they want. Barcelona have a wage budget of about 15 million. What is happening here? What is happening here? What? How, how do Barcelona have that big of a wage budget? Okay, that is mad. Anyways, um, that's crazy. We'll just complete the signing of Gavi. He'll be earning the big bucks at Barca. And there you go, guys. Pablo Gavi to Barcelona. A done deal. He is back where he belongs. Back where he started his career. And of course, where's the transfer news gone? Why is it not showing up? Well, the transfer news isn't showing up, but I'm pretty sure 
Gavi is now part of the squad. He'll actually be a starter here as well instead of Nico Gonzalez. Where on earth is Gavi? Gavi, where are you, man? Where's Gavi, guys? Why isn't he a part of the team? Oh, the trans window isn't open yet. I did this like last season. Oh, I'm an idiot. And there you go. Now it's showing up. Gavi is at Barcelona. Let's go. I think we should put him right in the team Um, instead of Nico Gonzalez. There you go. This Barca team, by the way, is, is honestly a bit insane. Uh, we can put Memphis. Fist pie on the left. Osiman Goncalves. Where on earth is Ansu Fati? Where on earth is Ansu Fati? They've got Wurtz as well in the team. We can put him on the bench. Where's Ansu Fati gone? Oh, I would have loved to have him in the team as well, including Gavi and all. But maybe we can sign him for this season because we have we, we can make one signing now that we're here in our second stint. Let's see where's Ansu Fati. I wouldn't mind signing him. He's gone to Chelsea. Are you kidding me? Let's bring him back home. Just paying whatever Chelsea wants. 258 million. I just want my man Ansu at the club. Ansu Fati is back at Barcelona, just where he belongs. And we're going to put him right in that starting 11 to where. Where's Ansu? Get him in here. Get him in here. There you go. That's going to be the team for this season. Gavi's playing in an incredible team right now. And I reckon we're going to win trophies, big trophies. And Gavi will start getting some big stats on board because so far, stats wise, it's been pretty underwhelming. Let's see what we can achieve in our first season back at Barcelona. Wait a minute. Barcelona are in the Europa league what i thought they'd be in the champions league and look at them lose games in the league like what's happening with this club here i thought we'd be winning champions league after champions leagues with barcelona we're back in the europa league gotta be honest i don't even know what the competition is well at least we'll be back in the champions league next season but atletico madrid won la liga celta finish above us what's happening season six and la liga has just gone for a toss this is a bit insane anyways overall wise gavi is doing quite well 87 overall right now. That's pretty insane for, of course, a 21-year-old. I'm also going to quickly see what kind of stats Gavi's on for this season. Did he play 42 games? Fairly good improvement, but only two goals and two assists, man. Stats-wise, Gavi has just not done enough. Back to other competitions, Spanish Cup, we do end up winning that, so Gavi does get to win a trophy, which I think he was fairly involved in. What about the Europa League? Hopefully we won it. All right, so we topped our group pretty comfortably, and then in the round of 16, we knocked out United, United in the Europa League. We then knocked out Lyon, brilliant. Then we knocked out Liverpool. No, Liverpool knocked us out. Wow, okay. And then wait a minute. Pretty sure these teams that Barcelona faced in the Champions League are the same teams they faced in 2019. Literally, just switch around Manchester United and Lyon from the round of 16 to the quarters. It's the same route to the final. What what, what has happened to these clubs? Anyways, no Europa League. Surprising. Six seasons and these are Gavi's stats. <sighs> this is bad. This is really bad. 20 goals and 17 assists in six seasons. I'm sure in real life, Gavi's going to have a season where he breaks this record himself. All right, boys, Barca back in the Champions League. You look at this team and you're wondering how on earth are they so bad? Like, honestly, we'll put that Inacio guy at the back line and this team should be winning more trophies. <sighs> Anyways, let's put a development plan on Gavi this time and hopefully we'll see him grow a fair bit in this save. Okay, so I reckon box to box or central midfield. Box to box, I think, is smarter because shooting is exactly his heel right now. If we get that up, I think we'll look good. Box to box and Gavi and let's see how far he can grow. But Simon, until the end of the season, I want trophies. That's more like it. We literally went a full month of winning games and we're back in the Champions League as well. Come on, guys. Come on. I want to see Gavi succeed at Barca. End of the season and Gavi is up to an 88. A bit of an increase on his shooting stats, but still, I think he could be a bit better for us. Stats-wise, though, some of his stats, like long passing, short passing, are maxed out. Like, that is honestly insane. 88 overall at the end of season 7, I think. What do we win this season? Stats-wise, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared to see how Gavi's done. Three goals and seven assists. Good lord, is he? Oh, he's not getting the goals or the assists, man. I don't know what's up with him. Ah, <sighs> from midfield, could be doing a little better compared to, let's say, Frankie de Jong. Look at those stats. But anyways, it is what it is, I guess. He still played 45 games for Barcelona. Wow, they narrowly missed on to winning La Liga by a couple of points. That might hurt. That, that definitely hurts. Ah, <sighs> Super Cup. Real Madrid won that too. Spanish Cup. At least that Barca won. What about the Champions League? Barcelona topped the group versus Liverpool. Brilliant. Round of 16. They got knocked out to Frankfurt. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. What a disastrous season. Gavi is just, it's just not clicking at
at Barcelona as well, man. It's just not clicking. I'll give Gavi one more season at Barca, a season eight. And if that doesn't work, we're going to the Premier League, I guess, for, a lot, for the last couple of seasons. I think that's the only way. You look at this team and you're like, how on earth aren't Barca winning stuff? Anyways, we're going to do one more season at Barca. We'll make Gavi happy with the new contract. He's going to be earning 380,000 per week. Good Lord. Can I chuck a development plan on him? I think we're nearing to maxing out his potential, guys. Oh boy. We'll put it, we'll put, we'll, we'll keep that box to box on him, actually. Ah, what are the other stats we can improve? Shooting wise, there isn't much we can improve, guys. Maybe playmaker is what we need to put on him. Not so sure. We'll keep box to box, I guess, for now. Ah, no. Nah, maybe playmaker it is for free kick accuracy crossing and all. Let's do that, I guess. We'll keep that. We're going to sim on till the end of this season. If we don't succeed here at Barca this season, it's curtains. We're moving elsewhere. This is pain, guys. We're just unable to win trophies with Gavi. Oh, third in La Liga again. Wow, at least Super Cup, that old Summer Madrid wins. The mighty Spanish Cup could at least give me that. We lost that too this season. This is getting bad. Champions League, we topped our group. That's great. Round of 16, we got through. We got through Man City as well in the quarters, but we succumb to Chelsea. Oh my god, and it's Chelsea, Real Madrid in the final. Awful. At least we got Gavi up to an 89 overall, so that's nice, but what are his stats looking like this season? Much better. Much, much better. 24 year old Gavi is now scoring at least 8 goals and 10 assists this season. That's more like it. I think next season we're gonna go elsewhere for a couple of seasons. Why not Chelsea? That'd be an interesting club to put Gavi at. Maybe following the Cesc Fabregas route. Maybe we'll do that but not bad for stats at least for Gavi. All right, looking at Gavi, 31 goals, 34 assists in eight seasons. We've got two seasons to try and get these stats as high up as possible. We're moving clubs. All right, guys, it's time to take charge of Chelsea. Bring Gavi here for a couple of seasons. That's going to be fun. It's time to maybe see if Gavi can succeed in the Premier League. Oh, by the way, he's going to have a friend over here. Pedri plays for Chelsea, so that's interesting. Okay, so the game's not allowing me to sign Gavi because, well, he's too important for Barca. But, of course, with mods, we can get behind that, so no issues. Just going to offer... Oh, we, we don't have unlimited money here. We're going to have to be smart. Wow, didn't realize that. Um, Okay, we just about can afford Gavi, okay? So let's just make it happen. I don't want any, I don't want to mess this up at all. So there you go. Contract off, but hopefully accepts. There you go. Gavi has been signed. Absolutely brilliant. Let's see if the announcement and all has been made. Chelsea win race for Gavi. He's going to be our number eight, 89 rated. I reckon we can chuck in maybe some development plan quickly on him. Ooh, I think central midfield works the best for him. We'll do that. We'll boost up his dribbling. That's nice. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can get him up to a 90 overall. All right, so I think we put... What is this guy doing here? We'll, we'll put... Where's that guy? Der, yeah, we'll put him at striker. How is he 93 rated? What a player. And then we'll put, of course, Gavi in midfield. Works out well. Do we have any other centre-backs? There you go. This Chelsea team is honestly a bit insane. What even is this Chelsea side, man? I swear if we don't end up succeeding here, I don't think there's anywhere we'll succeed. Let's actually try putting instructions on Gavi to get forward. Maybe that'll help him, like, score more goals. Hopefully. Let's see how that works. Everything's set. Time to see what we can do with Gavi in the Prem. Let's sim until the end. We're at the end of the season, and this looks nice. We've managed to get Gavi up to a 91 overall. Surely he's had insane stats this season if he's matched Pedri's overall. Let's take a look. Gavi, 91 rated. He's played 48 games. Only five goals and one assist. That is... Maybe he is that kind of a midfielder who just, you know, stays back and just does the job for the team, I guess. I don't know, but we've upped a lot of his stats. Look at that shooting going up to 71. Dribbling has grown a fair bit as well. It was 78, I remember. What's it now? Where's his dribbling stat? Can we take a look? It's up to an 86, so he has grown a fair bit in that department, but I think we have maxed out his potential, guys. I think we have. We'll just chuck in box to box for the remainder of this challenge, but whatever. Real question is, what have we won this season? Well, not the Premier League as we end up losing it by three points. It was close but at least we're in the Champions League for the next season. What about the FA Cup? Man United win that, so no trophy by the looks of things so far. Champions League, it could mean everything here. We topped our group versus Napoli, that's a good sign. Round of 16, we knocked out Real Madrid, that's an even better sign. We knocked out PSG, we knocked out Hoffenheim, and it's Napoli-Chelsea in the finals of the Champions League. Funnily enough, in the first season of this challenge, it was Barca-Napoli, but in the Europa League. And now we're facing Napoli for the Champions League. We've not won it with Gavi just yet, let's do it now. I swear with the team we have, 
if we end up losing a Champions League final, uh, nah, can't happen, boys, can't happen. No. Nope. We actually end up losing it. Oh my god, unbelievable on penalties as well. This, this is brutal. This is this challenge has been brutal, guys. Gavi has had no luck. Stats wise, uh, yeah, this might be one of the worst stats I think I've had in one of these takeovers for a player. But oh well, we've got one more season. Hopefully, we can win the Champions League. It's the final season with Gavi, and uh, I've just realized a fair few of the defenders have left the club. Maybe we can help out the team with that one signing being a defender, guys. Because we haven't made that one signing with Chelsea, nor have we sold anyone. So let's actually go ahead and do that and help this team out a bit for the final season. Reckon Upamecano would be the dream signing. I think Upamecano would just be perfect. I know he's 31, but we need him just for one season. I think this is smart. There you have it, guys. Upamecano has been signed. That was quick. All right, now the defense certainly looks great with Upamecano joining in. We just need to see if we can win the Champions League. I think Chelsea have made two back-to-back -back Champions League finals, so that is a bit sad that they haven't won a single one. Hopefully, this is the season. Looking at Gavi, can we increase his overall? Now we can't. We'll just we'll just chuck in the central midfield development band because that's the fastest way to grow his overall. But I don't think it's going to happen. 25 years old, 91 rated, one of the world's best. We're going to sim this season and see if that Champions League can be ours. All right, we've simmed until the end and Gavi is 91 rated. We couldn't grow on his overall anymore. But let's see if the final season, maybe Gavi decided it's time to score some goals and get some assists. And finally, it took him so long, but he's put in a quality season. 10 goals in the Premier League and 14 assists overall 14 goals and 20 assists now it feels like this challenge was worth it because gavi stepped up towards the end played 54 games as well ah that is such a relief to see him perform trophies wise let's go the premier league in the bag for chelsea and by a big margin and gavi played a big part as well so that's nice to see couldn't win the fa cup what about the mighty carabao cup we couldn't win that but the champions league is what we care about let's see what happens here we topped our group in style round of 16 16. We got the better of Dortmund. Quarterfinals, we knocked out into just about. Semi-finals, we knocked out Madrid. And we're up against Liverpool in the final. We gotta win this, boys. It'd be the perfect ending. All right, this is it, guys. This is a Champions League final against Liverpool. Can't mess this up here. We gotta win this. We gotta win this. We lost it last season. And I can't believe it. We lost it again. This is pain. This is genuinely pain of the highest order. We end off the challenge with pain. Oh my God, is that depressing. Well, guys, no Champions League for Gavi, but stats-wise on his overall, insane. 88 pace, 71 shooting, 90 passing, 91 dribbling, 82 physical, and 66 defending. We maxed out a lot of his stats, especially stats like ball control, long passing, short passing, all 99s. I think we did a good job in his final season, 14 goals and 20 assists. Not bad, I guess. So, guys, these are Gavi's stats after the 10 seasons, 50 goals and 55 assists. We end off his career at Chelsea after going to pubs. I can't be lying six staying at Barcelona club Bruges to get that overall boost was fun but I reckon we could have won a fair few more trophies in this challenge but it is what it is really enjoyed recording this if you guys enjoyed watching this maybe want to see maybe this happen once a week or once in two weeks something with different players let me know in the comments drop a like subscribe and I'll catch you guys for the next one peace